Thanks to modern technology, Mokhtar Al Yamani arrived to swim and study at Michigan without ever setting foot on campus. I went through my recruiting process all via online calls. I never got a recruiting trip here. He did have a connection, though. Former Wolverines Miguel and Bruno Ortiz, with whom he was high school teammates at St. Mary's International School in Tokyo, and that saved him. His emails to U of M coaches were initially going unanswered. Mokhtar eventually discovered, through the help of the Ortiz brothers, they were sent to a dormant account. The teammates here uh, let them know there's a guy called Mokhtar. Um, he's really interested in Michigan, and we really want him. Al Yamani considered other high profile programs. But like the all encompassing philosophy of head coach Mike Bottom. Coach Mike really stressed the importance of building leaders uh, both in and out of the pool. Um, and I really felt like they would really want me to succeed not only swim performance wise, but also in academics and also future endeavors. The freestyler who swam on Michigan's Big Ten champion 800 free relay team last year was born in New York but raised in Tokyo by a Japanese mother and Yemeni father. I like to challenge myself to do new things and there was definitely a transition when I first came here but I tried to embrace everything with a newfound maybe courage and also curiosity. But I really like the campus atmosphere there is not so much of a campus atmosphere in Japanese universities, I feel. One of the things that intrigues potential Michigan swimmers is the Olympic countdown clock. Anyone who walks through the doors realizes immediately the level of excellence that permeates these walls. Just looking at the Olympian uh, cap board that you see when you walk in every day, that's just incredible. And it's an amazing feeling every day. And as I was getting recruited, that was definitely a factor that helped me consider Michigan. Al Yamani was all lined up to live his Olympic dream in Rio. After training for months, just two and a half weeks before the games, an administrative error cost him his shot to swim for Team Yemen. I think the most important thing was learning more about myself and how I can move forward and change my focus. For anyone considering a similar journey, Mokhtar offers this piece of advice. I think the biggest step is just getting your foot through the door. Just making that first leap in uh, may be the scariest part, but that's also the most exciting part. Uh, once you get here, everyone's going to be very welcoming, and I think the team atmosphere is very nice, very friendly, and it has helped me transition from, how do you say, one place to the next, and I feel like at home here. And we all know there's no place like home. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Ed Kingerski.